you've got is brand new. It's our MOM puppy. He's here to stay forever. <laughs> also, all new, brand new to CITV. Look, SpongeBob SquarePants, back to MOM. And we've got the heartthrobs of Coronation Street. It's Richard and Jack. So whatever you do, make sure you'll be back here in a minute. What do you say, puppy? Mum's the word. Mum's the word. <laughs> Flick over today because we have got brand new, brilliant, I might add, cartoons. Um, yes, we certainly do. Brand new to CITV. We've only got SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> how are you, SpongeBob? Look, waving away. And how are you, Mr. Lee? Oh, put it close to That's great. And from the cobbles of Coronation Street, have a look. We've got Richard Fleishman, who plays Craig Harris. <laughs> We've also got Jack Shepard, who plays David Platt. <laughs> How are you, boys? We're good, yeah. yeah. How are you feeling about this morning? Really oh, fantastic. To it. Can't wait for Katie skiing. Oh, <laughs> I bet you can't. It's not that far away either, actually. Do you know, I actually heard him in the dressing room going, do you know something? As long as I beat Richard, as long as I beat him, <laughs> so we'll find out later. <laughs> oh, it already begins now. Oh, listen, guys, got, got a brand new friend here to MOM this morning. Look. It's a little a lovely, cuddly oh. puppy dog. Do you know what? You like? We like, like so much. This puppy is going to be here forever. We're going to watch him grow, and you can see him later on in the show. Oh, look, he's camera shy. Yeah, Come on, baby. Cheers, Doc. You'll see more of him a bit later on. And also, we need your advice as well. Now, as we said, brand new SpongeBob coming up very, very soon. Can we have this SpongeBob cock, please? Now, in honour of the brand new series of SpongeBob, never seen before, we've got a bit of a game to introduce it. So, can we have our SpongeBob Square Pie, please? There we go. Oh, look. The idea. SpongeBob Square Pie. The idea is this we're going to pass the pie around the audience. When it stops, whoever you stand beside, you pie in the face. Quite simple, all right? Now, just to give you a quick uh, example, should we do it? Oh, okay, can I have the music, us. please? Yeah, okay. we'll me and you. Me and you, first of all. Just have my makeup done. Oh, I know. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, look at that, right? Here's SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Right, let's start it in five seconds time. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Good luck. Go. Go. Pass it along. Okay. We'll have another brand new one for you next week. But now, I've got to tell you, we have got a brand new cartoon coming up very, very soon. It's very funny. It's called Planet Sketch. Trust me, I think you're going to absolutely love it. I managed to see the first episode, and I think it is brilliant. But now, if you just switched on and you're thinking, who is this? Well, look, this is our new oh. star of MOM. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now, do you know something? He will be with us every week on MOM, but the problem is he hasn't got a name yet. And this is over to you, because we want you to help us out today and actually name him for us, OK? Because if he's going to be on your show every week, then you should name him. That's the deal. But now, for now, Ray, Ray, here a sec. Come here. I will swap you the dog... Dog. ..for that pie. Deal. Cool. So you have that, and I'll have that. Go there you go. Take him away, Ray. Oh, and, Ray, don't you go ramming him. No right. ramming. Oh. Now, <laughs> can I just say something? Uh, very, very soon, we have got the stars of Coronation Street, and we're going to get a very messy in Cakey's Gate. Um, 
Do you think that's funny? Oh, it's hilarious. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Can you hold on to that a second? Mm. Thank you, mate. Right. He thinks... The cameraman thinks that's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done this in weeks. Orange right? boy. To put, a, <laughs> to put an orange with my face on. Where did you get that from? One of the researchers gave it to me. Did, did he, that? Orange boy. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> hold that. Thank you, mate. What? Oh, orange boy. <laughs> orange <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's Cakey Skate. <laughs> now, that's a warning to you all. <laughs> now, it is Cakey Skate. Yes, it is our celebrity challenge game where we flip cakes up a wall and the one who gets the highest is the winner. It's as simple as that. And they are from Coronation Street, the number one soap. Welcome, Richard Fleishman and Jack Shepard! <laughs> Good to see you both. I've got to say, I sent you before MOM began this morning, I'm a massive fan of Coronation Street. Oh, great. What is it like to be in a, the number one soap? Fantastic, amazing. It's great. Dream come true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not quite as good as playing Cakey Skate. This is oh, very no. true. Yeah. Good man. All right, now, who is going to win? Will they get messy? There's only one way to find it. Let's start the game. But for that, we do need those cakes. We've got our very own Dolly. It's the very lovely Holly with the trolley. Yeah, fine, thanks. Which one's the goth? That's yeah. me. <laughs> Good job you didn't wear your makeup, you're frightening the kids. Wow. Uh, now, listen, I reckon, right, that I could be in Corrie, cos, cos, basically, there isn't anyone that delivers the cakes, isn't that right? No, that's, no, that's, that's no. right. So, I've written a little scene, um, and it goes like this. So, basically, I'm walking down Coronation Street, I knock on the door and go, knock, knock, want any cakes? You say, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, what do you reckon? Because I think with that sort of thing, I could, I could be in it. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe. Well, yeah. the, the producers, yeah. And we'll Mum's the word. <laughs> right, should we get started? <laughs> I thought I already have, but I'll come here. We'll start with you. OK. Um, yeah. I've got a lovely cake for you. Obviously, being a goth, you wear lots of black. Mm -hmm. So I've got this cake here, which is a Black Forest Gatto cake. Oh, clever, oh. clever, clever. But don't, don't make up your mind yet. Now, what do you think I hope? Should Richard have that cake, yes or no? Yes. What do you think in the studio, yes or no? Yes. They say yes. What do you say, Richard? I'm going to say just for that, no. Oh, OK. Oh, a different one. Be like that. Which one are you going to have? What should we have? Um, Remember, it's got to fly up the wall. It's got to fly up the it's wall. It's got to fly up the wall. Oh, go on, I'll have it. Yeah, this go one. on. It's not yeah. a bad one, actually. It's not a bad one. one. It's not a bad one at all. OK. Uh, I can't see. Now, will you get it higher than Tino O'Brien, of course, who was also in Coronation Street? Let's find out. OK, good luck. Let's have a drum roll, please. In three, two, one. You'll know this already. It's the biggest one for weeks. It is good very man. good. Now, oh. Jack, darling, oh. come here. Come here. Now, listen, you've got quite a big one to beat. Yeah. So I've got just the cake for you, right? Your name, real name, Jack Shepherd, right? So only one cake. It's a shepherd's pie. Oh. Hey. See, do you know something? Yeah. See what you're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, what do you think? Should he have that cake? What are we thinking, yes or no? Yeah! Oh. So you're saying yes, but I, I, that's a heavy cake. Quite yeah, heavy. quite a bit. It's not going to go anywhere, that, is it? Right, so um, what are you going to go for then, Jackie? Let's have a look. I'm going to go... This oh, one. nice, nice, nice. Quite oh, lovely job. Good man. Scroll. Pop it down. Right. Good choice. I you tell you, this one could fly. Is that what it really it? could. But will it fly higher than five metres? On, There's only one way to find out. To run roll! In three, two, one! <laughs> He's getting the cakes already. Now, Jack, as you won, right. you get to cake your co-star. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, you're not going to stand for that, do you, no. Richard? <laughs> kick off, Don! Kick off! <laughs> <laughs> right, boy! 
Get her! Right, do you know something? The, the hyenas are not a scavenge. They like to scare. And this week, they're in heaven! What do you fancy? What they got? Food. That'll do me. What have I told you, hyenas, with all so the animals? Antoinette, you serve children and they're blooming animals. Oh, she's going for the room. What? Get out, you free bags! <sighs> Ain't no free bags after we eat. So the drain's on my stomach. Here. Here? I've an idea how to have food and fun. This is what we'll do. So, the hyenas have taken over the kitchen. They've set up their little surprise. And there's a crowd of peckish punters on their way. Find out what happens after the break. Mum is the word. One question. Will it be paper? Will it be wood? Let's find out. Let's ram ray! Yeah! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the wrong door, and Richard's just realised what he's let himself in for. <laughs> Helen, let's see that one more time. That was a good job. So, Richard, look what you've got to do. You've got to run, mm -hmm. and then you've got to lean real high like that. Yeah. That was a... Ray, that was... You know what you're doing, the Don't want to lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Hello, let's go to Sam. Hello, Sam. Hiya. Hey, Sam, you all right this morning? Yes, I'm... Good stuff. Well, listen, you've got Richard ramming for you today. Do you want to wish him good luck? Good luck. Good luck. Richard, are you looking forward to this? Not really. Not really? <laughs> well, Jack's got front row seats. So Jack, are you, you can have a good old yes. laugh yes. at this. <laughs> Hopefully Ray can win, though. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some nice stories going around the Coronation Street canteen mm. on Monday, won't there? <laughs> All right, well, Sam, listen, let's go back to you. Choose a door. Pick a good one for our Richard. Here it is his first time. Which one's it going to be? Um, Timbo and Mr. And Hives. Ah. Timbo and Mr. Hives. Huggy, huggy. OK, okay yeah. well, good luck to you. Will that door be wood? Or will it be paper? Fingers crossed. Let's do it. Let's ram Richard! Shouldn't have been so tall, should I? Should I? <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were going to leap over it. Sam, <laughs> I am so sorry that was the wrong door, but he hit it good. Let's see it one more time. Look at the state of you. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Have another go. <laughs> okay. They say have another go. Let's go to Lauren. Good morning to you, Lauren. Hello. How are you, darling? You're right. Yeah. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now listen, yeah. you're a bit of a football star, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what you want to be when you grow up. Yeah. Very exciting. Well, listen. Good luck with all of that. Thank you. Okay. Now you've got Ray ramming for you. Good. Good. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the doors. Which one are you going to go for, Lauren? Can I have door number two? Dr. Dinosaur. Dr. Dinosaur. Oh, I like Dr. Dinosaur. Favourite. OK, so will it be paper? Will it be wood? Well, let's find out, Lauren. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's ram ray! Ram ray! Ram ray! Win that 
Passport DVD fair is all yours. Well done, you. Congratulations. Yes. Well, listen, Happy. do you want to see it again, Lauren? Yes, please. Have a look at this. You were very good, may I just have very good indeed. Can I have your autograph, please? You certainly can. We'll sort that out for you, OK? Take Thanks. care, Lauren. Bye. Now, have a look. If you do want to play Ram Ray next week, then we've got a lovely prize. It is this game's console. It could be yours. You could be live on the TV next Saturday morning playing Ram Ray. All you need to do is answer this question. What door did Ray just ram through? Was it A, the Ninja Handyman door? Was it B, the Puppin Ponies? Or was it C, Dr. Inus's door? Since you know, get in contact. The details are all on the screen right now. Good luck. You could be live on the telly. Now, Rich, did you enjoy that experience? It was good. It was good. What's that? <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, yes. Don't start yeah. on that again. Do you know something? You know how much I like to scare Holly, yeah? Well, last week, oh, we got her good. Do you know, I, I think, I actually think it's the best one. It was actually very good. But um, that doesn't mean you can do it again. Mm -hmm. We'll see. You're a rat. Enjoy this, rat fans. <laughs> we are preparing to scare Holly. She's doing rehearsals at the moment. Yep, I've tied a huge stuffed rat onto the end of a fishing rod line, and I'm secretly creeping into the studio where we film MOM. Now, I'm going to dangle the rat over Holly's shoulder. Here she is. Unsuspecting Holly rehearsing her lines at the moment. Now, surely she won't be scared of a cuddly little rat, will she? Holly's got no idea that I'm currently walking around the back of the set, up the stairs, and right behind her. I'm behind you. But how will Holly react when she claps eyes on the huge stuff rat dangling over her shoulder? Now, does she A, break wind? Does she B, break the fishing rod? Or does she C, break into a sweat and run? Find out after the break. Mum is the word. Before the break, we asked you what will happen when I scare Holly by dangling a huge stuffed rat on the end of a fishing line over her unsuspecting shoulder. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, bless, look. Look at her. She's so busy rehearsing, she hasn't even noticed me creeping up behind her. Let's see what happens next. Watch this. Yes, you do. Ah! What is that? was once upon a time. Those things have fleas. Look. Ooh. I have to break it into a complete sweat. Another complete scare, Holly. Look. Oh. Yep, rat's the way to do it. <laughs> nice one, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely vile, you know that. <laughs> Horrible rat. <laughs> Could have been worse, though, couldn't it? Could have dangled Darren Day over your shop. Bit true. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was a stuffed rat. Yeah, well, maybe you should go and get stuffed. Ah. Oh. 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 Now, listen, oh, this dog that is eating all the cake up my arm, <laughs> you can have a lot of that little fella if you hang around here, <laughs> um, is our new pet here on MWM. We love him very much. In fact, you know what? I think he's amazing. And they called it puppy love. <laughs> You are <laughs> catching on really quick. Yeah. Now, um, I, I just, I just think he's so sweet. Look, he's just like a little ball of fluff, and he's got like mm. cutesy woozy little nose. Don't, don't you love him, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still a dog. <laughs> I know. Don't shout. It's only little. I tell you what, I just love these like his little ears and mm. his pink little tongue and and his little paws and. Oh, he's just lovely, isn't he? Do you know? So he is lovely, and you know he's lovely. But do you know we still haven't got a name for him? Hmm.
<laughs> that was that was like a big ginger dream. <laughs> <laughs> now, seriously, we can't decide what to call him. Uh, he is the new star to MOM. He will be with us every week, so please try and help us out. Uh, give us all your your ideas to the usual address: MOM, PO Box Nine at One, ME Fourteen. Oh, oh, also, you can email us as well, of course, at mom at itv.com. But now, I've got to stop talking for one second. Because Please. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a really big surprise in store, OK, which I know you're going to enjoy. I'll see you in a minute. Mum's the road. Mum's the road, indeed. Now, I'm going to put this little fella back in his basket because we've got somebody equally as cute who is about to come on here right now. Please welcome the star of The X Factor from Saturday. <laughs> it's Mackenzie! Come on, young man. Come on. Mackenzie. Hello. Okay. Are you a little bit shocked about our height, Mackenzie? I like your height. Do you like yeah. Mackenzie? Well, nice to meet you. Meet, meet, meet. <laughs> meet you. Nice to meet you. Pack it in. He's being nice. Now, listen, we are so lucky to have a big star like you here on MOM. Uh, when can... The, um... What? Guess what you're going to get. What's he going to get? What am I going to get? Cuddle. Oh, give him a cuddle. Come on, man. Go on, you lean up and give you, him a big hug. You, you. Mackenzie, listen, you are lovely. Did you enjoy it when you were on The X Factor? Yeah. Yeah? Did you feel like yeah. a proper celebrity? Um, I think I did. You think you did? Well, we think you definitely did. And, guys, Mackenzie. if you missed it, let's take a look at Mackenzie's performance. Oh, yeah. Mackenzie, have a look at yourself on the telly. Look, look. Have a look. Look, Mackenzie. Well done, young man. Look, everybody oh, thinks you're great. We think you're great. We think you are going to be a massive star. Do you know that? Um... Yeah, you do know that. And also, we're going to have more from Mackenzie a little bit later because you're going to be singing for us, aren't you? You're going to sing that live on MOM this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to think about... Guess what are you going to get? What am I going to get? <laughs> you going to give him another cuddle? Um. Do you know what? I'm going to leave these two chatting <laughs> while we go up to Steve and see what that surprise is all about. Have you ever met two hyenas? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. In a second. We are going to um, surprise these two people just here. Now, the audience can't see them, and they can't see themselves because we turned the audience monitors off. But we're going to go and meet them now. But let's go. Come on. Uh, coming up on MOM this morning, let me tell you. OK, we've got our brand new game started last week called Dare. You will be crazy to miss this. Two people taking our dares to try and win prizes. The biggest dare they've got to do today, I would never be able to do. But will they? You'll see it very, very soon. But now, can I um, can I squeeze in here? Is that right? I just want to sit sit beside Lee Turner. If that's all right. Are you, are you Lee Turner? Yeah. What are the chance of that? And what a chance of me knowing that that's your brother, Chaz. Hello. Hello. Stun silence there. Do you know you two? Um, I've got a little surprise for you. Do you know how I know your names, by the way? No. No. Let me give you a bit of a clue. Okay, hang on. Can I have that, please? <laughs> Does this mean anything to you? Yeah. Yeah. Does it mean something to you, Chaz? Yeah. Yeah. And it'll mean a lot to you as well when you see this, because these two guys are the stars of this week's Rally from Helly. This is Paul. His job being a normal everyday dad. And here's Lee and Chaz. His children. But Paul has kept a big secret from them. They're just about to find out. He's the one and only super dad. Now, meet Carol, our damsel in distress, whose pussycat is stuck up a tree. Help! Help! Will Dad Paul hear the cries and help to save the day? Of course he will. He's got superhero hearing. Mask on. Here he goes. Reveal that spandex. The truth is out. Lee and Chaz's father is none other than Super Dad. Chaz can't believe. <laughs> Look, there he goes. Look, he still can't believe it. Oh, a handy ladder. I, <laughs> I tell you what, it's a good job. He's not scared of heights. You'll catch flies in that, Lee. Up he goes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, my hero, thank you. Not a problem, man. Job done. Come on, kid. <laughs> Off he goes on another mission. Super Dad, we salute you. I have got to say, 
I really had to say, it's just when you're like, come on, kids. <laughs> it was really good. Did you find it embarrassing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Will you ever live that down? No. <laughs> well, look, is your dad normally like, does he normally do that sort of stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Does he? Well, yeah. what a daddy is. He's like a real super dad. So I'll tell you what we've done just for you to look. There you go. There's a super dad mug for you. No worries. Anytime there's one for you, you are both stars. Thank you so much, Lee and Chaz. Give a nice big cheer. Thank you so much. But now, come down this side just here because uh, we've got something very special for you right now. You know what it's called? Yep. It's there. <laughs> It's there. Oh. Now, quite simply, this is the game where he who dares wins, or in this case, she who dares wins. Let's take you over to the dare chairs. Uh, we started this game last week, and we're going to perform it again for you right now. Now, here we have Sherelle, and we also have Megan. Good morning to you, ladies. How are you doing? All right. Hi. Hi. Good Thank stuff. You. Welcome to MOM. They're on live TV this morning for one very special reason, to take on some dares. Now, we told you last week, if you wanted to come on and uh, do some dares, then we'll give you the chance. That's how they got on. Now, let me explain. We're going to give them two dares. If they complete the dares, they win themselves some very nice prizes. Let's take a look at the first prize. They will get themselves an MP3 player each. But the only way they'll get the prizes is by completing the dare. So, let's reveal the dare. <coughs> Girls, this isn't very nice, but this is what you have to do. In this tank are a number of giant 10-inch millipedes. What you have to do is put your hand inside that tank and grab the MP3 player from underneath those millipedes. Now, I have to warn you, and I'm not joking when I say this, when those get angry, they squirt juice out of their bottoms. Now, this juice is not very nice, and it smells, and it stains, and it's just not very pleasant. So, girls, that's the challenge that faces you. You have got five seconds to decide whether or not you want to do this dare and who is going to do it. And, ladies, your time starts now. <laughs> OK, girls, time's up. Are you going to take the dare? Yes. yes. They're going to do it. Who is going to do it? Me. Megan, I dare you. Oh. Come on then, darling. It's there. Oh. OK, Megan, you can see they're not very nice. They're rather large. You don't have to do this. <coughs> if you don't, you don't get the prize. So, if you're going to do it, go for it. Mind out for that juice. It's from their back end, so if you know what end is the... Yeah. Go on, grab it. See if you can do it. Can she do it? <laughs> She's done it! Yeah! Well done. OK, back to the dare chair. Come on, go. I'll look after that for you. Well done. Girls, so far, so good. Both of you have got those MP3 players, but there is a second dare, which means there is a second prize. And this is a fantastic prize. Stephen? It certainly is. Now, this is the double dare. It's a bigger dare, but a bigger dare, get yourself a bigger prize. And this prize is over here. It's a rally chopper. You'll get one each to keep and to take home after this morning's show. But remember, as always, the only way you'll get these prizes is if you complete the dare. So, let's reveal our double dare. I like yeah. a big pizza oh, yeah. pie, oh. that's some water. <laughs> OK. Hey. So, this is our pizza what? chef, JC. Now, JC is used to making pizzas in restaurants, what? and today he is going to make you two a pizza, OK? But the difference is you have to pick the five There's toppings that go on the pizza, he's going to cook it, and then you have to eat a slice. Now, that sounds quite nice. You know, that's not very mean at all, hardly even a dare. But there's a bit of a catch, as you can imagine. Girls, the toppings that you have to choose from are on the plasma screen behind you. Just turn yourselves around and take a look. So let's have a look. There you go. You can see we have got things like fish heads, jellied eels, ox tongue, snails. And there's also some nice stuff in there. Pineapple cheese, ham. There's also ants in there as well, I've just seen. Obviously, not very nice. Now, I'm going to ask you to pick five toppings. Now, if I just said pick five toppings, you'd go, right, well, I have pineapple, mushroom, cheese and ham. All the nice things. So I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide them. I'm going to muddle them all up. So can we do that now, please? We're going to muddle those all up. They're all going to be hidden away. 
so you don't know where they're going. And then we're going to cover them up with numbers. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is each of you pick a number, and then those numbers will correspond to a topping, which will go on your pizza. So let's do that first of all. So, um, Sherelle, let's go with you first of all. What number would you like? 11, because that's how old I am. You're 11 years old. Let's go for number 11. Number 11, what are you? What is it? Sprouts. Oh, that's <laughs> Not too bad, girl, girls. Let's put the sprouts on the pizza, please, JC. Huh? So sprouts are going on. Lovely. Right, let's go back to the board, girls. Megan, you're next. What number would you like to go for? Five. You know, for number five. Let's take a look at number five. Number five, what are you? Ox tongue. <laughs> let's put the ox tongue on the pizza. <laughs> girls, have you ever eaten ox tongue before? Ooh. No. Don't fancy that at all. <laughs> no. OK, well, let's pick another number. Sherelle, let's go to you. What number would you like? 13. Unlucky for some, you're a brave lady. What is number 13? Let's take a look. It is mustard. Oh, oh no. Could be worse. Let's get some mustard on that pizza. Oh, no. That's not too bad, girls. There's still no. ants and scorpions and all sorts of rank <laughs> stuff in there you could eat. OK, Megan, what number are you going to go for? Um... Ten. Number ten. OK, let's take a look at number ten. Number ten, be a goodie. What are you? Ants. Oh! <laughs> Girls, let's put some ants on the pizza. Mm. They are. They're, they've been covered in chocolate, though, just to make them taste a bit sweeter. OK, last one. Sherelle, let's try it. What are you going to have? Sixteen. Sixteen. Number sixteen, what are you? What are you? Jelly oh, deals. No! Let's put some jelly deals on that pizza. That now, ladies, let's just remind you what is going on here. You have got a pizza which has got ox tongue, sprouts, mustard, ants and jelly deals. That is the topping. You don't have to do this. If you don't do this, however, you don't win those bikes. So, girls, you've got five seconds in which to decide. Remember, you both have to do it if you're going to do it. Your time starts now. We can't do that. Do you want to do it? I do OK, girl, time's up. It's very short, isn't it, that five seconds? So what are you going to do? Are you going to do the dare? Yes. yes. <gasps> They're going to do the dare! <laughs> I tell you what, they are braver girls than me. I tell you something, this is going to be amazing. They've got jelly deals and they've got ants on that pizza. That is going to be disgusting. I tell you what, um, JC, plonk that in the oven. That needs about three minutes to cook and that's just about as long as we've got. Come back here, see them eat this pizza. I dare you. <laughs> catalogue has changed with over 3,600 extra products from the ordinary to the extraordinary I love your style Jack it's Zach yeah whatever the new Argos catalogue it's the big one Dog at home. The coolest dogs and tasty food now at McDonald's. One with every Happy Meal. It's why they're called Happy Meals. <laughs> now with every McDonald's Happy Meal, there's a free child cinema ticket offer to see Disney's new movie, Herbie Fully Loaded. <laughs> Winders doubles for the first time two fruity flavors side by side. Double the flavors, double the fun. Nice. Hey. Baby, Get up, you two sleepy heads. <coughs> oh no, my darling. <coughs> there, that's better. Are you hungry? <coughs> no. Oh, a bird. <coughs> would you like your dummy, or would you like your bottle? Oh, another bird! Shh, look, 
Baby Annabelle is sleeping. Baby Annabelle. Now with real tears. From Zap Creation. There was something incredible in the sky. Two chocolate meteors were rushing by. I wasn't scared because the magic words I knew. Coco Rocks! A new chocolate is a rise for me and you. Crunchy Chock Rocks and Soft Chock Centre Rocks. You get both crunchy and soft chock. So we'd rather have a bowl of Coco Rocks. Dolls in their first ever movie. My Scene Goes Hollywood on DVD with free limited edition Hollywood body jewels. Enter the magical world of Roald Dahl, the new magazine collection that brings your favourite Roald Dahl characters to life. In issue one, get the inside story on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Roald Dahl's own incredible life. It's packed with amazing art activities, terrific tricks to perform, magical cards to collect and swap, and curious charms to keep in this charming box. Discover the magical world of Roald Dahl, out now, including cards and charm. Ooh, I can smell a fake a mile off. <laughs> they're funny looking, they're not aliens. My parents are aliens, Monday to Wednesday, 4.30 COTV. The real home of aliens. Almost unbelievable what is about to happen now. These two girls, Sherelle and Megan, are playing It's Dare. The final dare to win some lovely bikes is to eat this pizza. Now, it's no ordinary pizza, oh no. This pizza has got sprouts on it, mustard on it, ants on it, um, ox tongue on it, and also jellied eels. It has been cooked over the break by our pizza chef, JC. Thank you for that. And the girls are going to eat it now. So, girls. Be as brave as you can. Have one massive bite each and swallow it and then open your mouths. And you can do that right now. Go for it. They're holding their noses. Oh, she's doing it. She is the bravest girl I've ever met in my life. Is, how's it taste, girls? Good? No? OK, I tell you what, Sherelle, you are doing good. Is it nearly gone? Chew, 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 chew. Oh, oh. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Is she going to...? She's done it! Have they done it? Has it gone down? One big gulp. One big gulp. Come on, girls. You can do it. You are so close. Those bikes are here. The worst is gone now. Done. Oh, Megan, don't you do that on me. Has it gone? Open, let me see what you've got in there. That is practically good. That is <laughs> girls, some very well-deserved water there. Give it up for Megan and Sherelle! You ladies are so brave. Well done. I tell you what, I've got to say, I don't know about you, but there's no chance of me ever doing anything like that. But if, I tell you what, if you think you honestly can do a dare and you think you can do something like that to win yourself a nice prize, then all you've got to do is get in contact. If you honestly think you can, don't, don't enter if you don't think you can. Uh, the girls are absolutely fine, I can tell you that right now. But if you think you can take on our dares, then get in contact. Usual address, MOM, PO Box 981, ME14, 5XE. You can email us after this morning's show, uh, MOM at ITV.com. The only thing I will say to you, if you're going to bring it on, you've got to take on the dares, and I dare you. Don't dare me. There is no way I would ever do that. Those <laughs> girls are so brave. Now, on something a lot nicer, the X Factor. I'm loving it. I'm sure you guys are too. And here at MOM, we're like your X Factor best mates who tell you all the gossip. Now, if you missed last week's show, we're going to tell you all about that. We're going to tell you about, um, like, exclusive stuff that isn't even been out yet, stuff that goes out tonight on ITV1, but we're going to show it to you right now. And we're also going to have guests from the show itself. So if you did miss anything from last week, don't you worry. Have a look at this. She has got to be the worst yet, hasn't she? That was terrible. Now then, somebody we thought is brilliant. He's been here all morning long. It's Mackenzie! Yay! Come here! 
You having a nice morning? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, your morning's going to get better and so is ours, because you're going to sing for us, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? Well, you're going to go and get yourself into position? OK. Yeah, you go over there. This is going to be brilliant. I tell you what, you'll see that in just a minute, but let's just see what the judges thought of his performance. Have a look at this. Well, I'll tell you what, the winner of X Factor is here. It's Mackenzie singing Westlife's When You're Looking Like That. Look how big he is. It's Mackenzie! <laughs> Go for it. Oh, go on. <laughs> we look like that, 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 that. Yeah. the fire. stars like Mackenzie down here at the Ministry next week. But here's a little bit of exclusive stuff that no one else have ever seen. Just for you. Have a look. Fabulous indeed. But now it's time for the part of the show that puts the you into your <laughs> My voice is going, it can only be the lab. <laughs> Hi, Bo. No, I'm glad to you dropped by because I'm just putting together a tape for the Y Factor. The Y Factor? Yeah, the Y Factor. It's like a big German talent show to find the biggest star in München, Gladbach. Is that <laughs> yeah? Right? Yeah, anyway, I've got to get on with it. My milkshake brings out the oh, yeah, 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 My yeah, life yeah, yeah, is better than yours. Look, forget the showbiz and the singing. Let's see the science. Well, Steve, you know I'm very serious about my work. I take it very seriously. <laughs> oh, seriously? Seriously. <laughs> That's serious, Steve. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This week I'm going to do further investigations right. into the science of... <laughs> contortionism. <laughs> so what's that, then? First, Steve, you know, a contortionist <laughs> is someone who can bend their limbs right. into extraordinary shapes. Like that. Well, no, Steve, those, those are quite ordinary shapes. Yeah. No, a contortionist, to tell you the trick, I need a racket. You need, hang on a second, I can sort that. <laughs> what are you doing my drum, Steve? What? We're making it's a racket. Not that sort of racket, you plum. <laughs> Come on, get outside, you know what happens when we get... <laughs> you got to get in the closet. That really hurt. There we go. Come on. <laughs> And out again. Hang on ah. a second. <laughs> What's with all the tennis? Get out of this up then. <laughs> Stephen, you, me and a wardrobe, you do the math, girlfriend. <laughs> right, hang on. <laughs> oh, this must be the racket. That's right, Steve. It's the racket of tennis. Oh, boy, you know, it's hard out here on Santa Cot. Do you fancy some refreshment? Yes, please. <laughs> You, you could have made it warm. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to get me, Dave. <laughs> now, stop mucking around, Steve. Let's get on with the experience. Over here. <laughs> Hello, you guys. <laughs> now, Steve, welcome to the experience, aren't you? It's not, in fact, a wet T-shirt contest. <laughs> Even though the raspberry ripples are showing, I think. Here we go. <laughs> One of these three guys, Steve, <laughs> is a contortionist. Right. Okay? Now, the other two... Yes. ...are non-contortionists, OK. Yeah? Now, the one who's a contortionist yeah. can actually get his whole body through... <laughs> ..a tennis racket. <laughs> no. What? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm freezing. Hey, you're oh. saying that one of these three here can get... Not just... Hang on, I can't even get my head through it. Yeah, but, Steve, your head is... A... <laughs> Extra large and very orange, isn't it? <laughs> now, what you are saying is that one of the three will not only put their head through it, they'll be able to get all their body all the way down and then step out the tennis racket. That's exactly what I'm saying, boy. Well, I don't think it's possible. No way, Jose. Yes way, Jose. And one of them's going to prove it. And this is the interesting part and the fun bit is you have to guess which one. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Is it number one? Is it number two? Or is it number three? OK. Have you made up your mind? Well, when you come back, we're going to find out if you are right. 
and we'll also see this incredible feat. That's right, Steve. <laughs> see you in a minute. Don't go changing. Mum's the word. Excited! <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back to MOM. Now, just before the break, the doctor here said that one of these three is a contortionist. That's right, Steve. I just love watching people do all that bendy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the three can actually bend their body all the way through this part of the tennis racket. Literally go all the way through and step out. But did you have a guess at home? Which one did you think it was, Doc? Could you please reveal? Mm. The real contortionist. Is it number one? He looks quite bendy, but I think there's a bit too much meat on him. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. I've seen my meat on the butcher's apron. <laughs> oh. But she's not very bendy, I'm afraid. It is, in fact. Number three. Yay! Yeah. This is Ben French. He's the world's greatest contortionist. How are you feeling, Ben? You feeling bendy today? Sure am, Doctor. Great. Do your bendy stuff, man. Here we go. This. First arm's through, Steve, and the head. A special non-friction headband he's got on there. Ooh. Second arm through. Okay, Steve, this position is called the heron at rest. <laughs> do you know what I want to know, Doc? Is how did he find out that he could actually do this? Well, he started out trying with a ping pong bat when he was a kid, but you can't actually get through one of those. Oh, oh steady! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Hello, morning! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 That's nice on. Yeah! Big up Ben with the big Ben Bendy music! Yes! That's great, Ben! Nice work, Ben! Lovely stuff, Doc! Thank you! See you later! See you later. By the way, Doc, lovely legs. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, hey, Scarlett, did you enjoy that? Oh, yes, Stephen. You know I'm a big fan of that doctor. I like he. Oh, what's happened to your voice? Nothing's up with my voice, Stephen. This is my real voice. I am an actor, you know. Oh. I mean, I can do other voices. I, I can do mean, like this. And I can do scared, like this. <laughs> You're amazing, you know. No, I'm Jeff. I'm 33, and I'm an actor, Stephen. But thank you. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> it's now time to save the world from the Mistrons. Yes, it's time for Captain Scarlet. Oh, Stephen, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's good to have Captain Scarlet I'm back here on MOM. I tell you what, it's nice to have him back, and it's nice to have more lovely boys in the studio with us today. It is, of course, Jack and Richard. <laughs> Now, Jack, are you a very popular character on, on, on Coronation Street? What's your character up to at the moment? Well, at the moment, he's getting quite embarrassed over his dad. His dad joins the um, Weatherfield football team as a team mascot, and he's dressed as a chicken, and he's goofing around, and David gets really embarrassed at that. Oh, do you know... so he's the rally from hell. <laughs> <laughs> I do yeah. like Coronation Street. You're going to stick around all morning, yeah? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Fabulous really stuff. really enjoying it. Good, good to hear it. Well, now it's time to win some prizes for you lot. Follow me over this way because it's time for a four-minute win it. It certainly is. Now, this uh, four-minute win it is all about drag racing, OK? Ooh, now, Steve! Be ready for the drag race. I haven't got a pink flag. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, you've got it all messed up, lads, uh, because it's not that kind of drag. Oh, no. Mr Lee will be so disappointed, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> Come on, girls, we've never been advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever believe it? Remind me where um, Darcy Dot where he got his shoes from. No, OK. Now, we're going to give you a chance for a VIP weekend. This is an incredible prize to the European Drag Racing Final. What do you need to do to win this amazing prize to answer this question? I've never seen those before. That is amazing. All you need to do is tell us how long is this dragster that is here in the studio today? Is it A... Ooh, is it A, 12 feet? Is it B, 18, 20 feet? Or is it C33 feet? Good luck. As soon as you know, get in touch. Yes, uh, use your number 09013 800 830. Or, of course, you can text win it and your answer and your name so we know who you are to 83000. Uh, and remember, drag ooh, is the word. <laughs> Steady. Let's go! <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't walk in heels. <laughs> Coronation Street for 
Jones is still with us, but just before the break, we ask you this question, Jack. How big is this dragster? It is big. And Richard, <laughs> what was the answer? 33 feet. There you go. Uh, so the winner of that prize and going to that great day out is James Pennington from Stockport. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Very good. You've got that VIP weekend, so congratulations to you. Uh, the boys are going to stick around for our big end to the show, but right now it's time for part two of The Man Who's Back to MOM. Yes, it's Captain Scarlet. <laughs> All in itself, Captain Scarlet returns to the ministry next week. A little bit too scary for you, wasn't it? But now here's something you're going to love. It's Mackenzie and Stephen singing out the show! Here we go! Get up! We'll see you next Saturday. Have a great week. Say goodbye. Bye. Yeah.